The boy sits in a room, bright as a favorite uncle's go-to. His heart is a bouquet of an address love note. He's in search for something that will make his heart drape like a soft silk scarf on a shoulder. Time tees patience and he's soon brought to stillness by a girl. Her presence is strong as a roar of fans blowing cold air during a heat wave. When they notice each other, they stretch their fingers to touch like two wires trying to form a spark of light. He holds her fingers like pearls in an expensive store shelf. Whispers, the air around you feels like a force pulling me in. She replies, I know, I know it is. And we treat her hand from his with an assured smile. He stares her in the eyes as if waiting for butterflies to rise from their pit, but they never do. He stares at her as he walks away. She continues her elegant stance, unfazed, aware that what is meant for her will fight for her. He continues walking and meets another girl. Her back is turned, but he kneels as if prepared for the holiness of surrendering. Her body is a tank filled with all the tears she cried for the past men who clawed on her heart like sharks. She swims in her grief. We can't help that we carry our baggage with us like an overnight suitcase. Are you okay, he asks. She contemplates silence before responding. I swim in grief in search of a lifeguard without judgment. They sit in their silence unsure of if it's fate for them to navigate love past broken. He attempts to reach out his hand but stops himself midway and walks away. He continues walking and sees a boy. The boy reminds him of himself. The boy seems laid back as if on holiday in France or somewhere with romance swinging in the air. The boy poses his body as if modeling for a Vogue magazine photo, but there is more to the boy. The boy glows with from charcoal, from being burnt by a flame that is not visible to the naked eye. Aren't we all being burnt by something others don't know about? The boy showers in his solitude, thinking of life, of love or lonely. The boy rubs his palms, a habit, an easy stress reliever. On most days, the boy's fingers is a matchstick searching for something, someone love or spark with. He continues walking and meets another girl. When he sees her, the tension pulls his nerves tighter than a packed London bus. His heart begins beating like a child playing drums for the first time. Love is unpredictable, like a cheeky child catching you off guard. Comfortable in her own stance, she does not plunge into his attention. The air smells of lavender and begging. He can't wait to like all her posts. He wants his name to be the main thing floating through her pool of notifications. This feeling is euphoric, waiting for a queen to sit on an empty throne in this palace made of the echoes of joy. <laughs>